हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ए न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ स्ट्रैट इंडिया आई होप यू आर डूइंग क्वाइट वेल इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक्स लिमिटेड सुपर सुखई प्रोजेक्ट एंड इट्स करेंट डेवलपमेंट्स रिसेंटली हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक्स has opened its nasik facility for the production of lca tejas mk1 a fighters along with the production of lca tejas the overhauling of su30 mk fighters will also to be undertaken at the nasik facility as per oem the overhauling of each su30 mk aircraft needs to be done at 1500 hours of service life or 15 years of service which ever is earlier during overhauling the aircraft needs to be stripped to its nuts and bolts level and reassembled once again and certified for the airworthiness india's current sukhoi fleet is due to for an upgradation though it is a marvelous fighter the avionic system radar communication systems are required to be upgraded which was failed during operation swift retreat with pakistan air force truly speaking su30 mki is the backbone of the indian air force and it is available in sufficient numbers to take any challenge in the future war scenario after a lot of discussion with the russian oem india has decided to take up the super sukhoi upgrade program indigenously minus its engine replacement though the offered al41 engine provides a higher thrust of more than 20 kN the reliability issue is still there india has planned to replace the aircraft avionics suite the psa radar with uttam aesi radar updated irst system new radar warning receiver pod based missile approach warning system encrypted communication system and updated electronic warfare suite to name a few a modernized cockpit with new displays is going to be installed in addition to new digital flight control computer addition of these equipments will upgrade this fighter into 4.5 generation category and it will be same class as russian su30 sm2 standard to the russian sm2 upgradation program features a engine replacement but the fire control radar is a psa radar as you know the su30 mki aircrafts are being overhauled since 2014 in the mro facilities of the hindustan aeronautics limited however Some recent developments in the Defence Ministry has indicated that HAL has decided to upgrade the Su-30 MKI in a phased manner. Recently, Ministry of Defence signed a contract with Defence Major Bharat Electronics Limited to supply Dhruti digital radar warning receiver for the Su-30 MKI aircraft. Maybe these systems will be integrated during the aircraft mid-life upgrade. India is currently in the middle of three major fighter development programs such as Tejas MK2 middle weight fighter the HAL Amka fifth generation fighter and twin engine deck based fighter major sub systems for these fighter programs are being developed or already has been developed as of now so super sukhoi upgradation project will definitely see some of the best technologies are being integrated into this legendary fighter of the indian air force thanks for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe our channel and share your thoughts in the comments box jai hind